In this demonstration, we're going to show you how to add an ArcGIS Online map to ArcGIS Pro. And in doing so, what we'll do is create an entirely new map from that content. So you can see in this case, I've already logged in. Um, and then I've opened up the catalog pane, clicked on the portal tab. And right now I have the Living Atlas collection selected. But I'm going to switch over to ArcGIS Online, uh, which is going to be any public, publicly available content. Uh, in, in theory, anyone could have uh, uploaded this content. But uh, what we're going to do here is first set um, some search filters. So I'll click on the filter button. And in this case, I'm searching for maps. And in particular, I'm searching for web maps rather than map files. Map files refers to things like map packages. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to search for a web map. And um, so you'll see immediately, as soon as I set that filter, you notice how it filtered out my data. And now it's only showing web maps and if you clear that you'll notice um, yeah if we clear that so you'll notice how it resets it to lots of different content so not only do I have web maps but I also have additional content including feature layers uh, tables right I've got lots of different content here so the first thing I did was simply to filter my data by web map and now I'm going to search for California wildfires and you'll notice that it brought back a number of different maps that can be added to my project. And I'm gonna select on California wildfires by decade. I'll right click on it and select add and open. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna add a new map to my ArcGIS Pro project with the content of this California um, wildfire by decade information. So I'll click add and open. And again, all I did was right click to bring up this context menu, select add and open. And what you'll see eventually here is it's going to create a new map in ArcGIS Pro called California Wildfires by Decade. If you look in the contents pane, you'll see that it's added a number of different layers here, going back all the way to 1910, going all the way up <clears throat> to the current time. And uh, it's also added uh, California Wildfire Perimeter data. This is going to be the burn area data uh, all in one layer color-coded by decade. It takes a while for this data to draw and so what I'll do is just kind of switch over to um, a map that I've created in the past. All right, this is the exact same data and it just takes so long to draw it that I wanted to, to provide it to you uh, pre-drawn here. But this gives you an idea right, of, of what we're dealing with here. So what it did was create a new map in my project. If I go to uh, the project tab you'll see in this case of course we have two maps because i, I, I pre-created one to, to be able to display uh, the symbology for those burn areas and then i of course created a second map but you can see what it is doing here is adding a, a completely new map to my ArcGIS pro project you'll notice that the symbology for the icons are a little bit different see the little link there representing um, uh, a url uh, essentially meaning that this map is coming from uh, ArcGIS online or whatever my current portal is all right, so if I switch back over, you'll see it's, it's finally drawn at this point. So, so I just wanted to kind of go over that, just kind of show you uh, how you can add in an entire new map of content to your ArcGIS Pro project. 